afternoon. My name is David Nixon. I'm the town administrator. Today is Friday, August 24th, and this is part of a Hadley Media project. From time to time, we're going to be talking about topics that are important to the town, and we invite questions by either calling the main number at 413-586-0221 or by emailing me at admin at hadleyma.org. So today we're going to talk about the new ambulance service that uh, the town of Hadley is now responsible. Um, just a, it's been operating for about eight weeks, and we thought it was time to give an update on how it's operating and what's new and different, and what should people expect when they need emergency medical care. So just a bit brief background: uh, the town of Amherst has been providing medical services for 71 years. They've provided us with high quality and high professional services for all of that time. And over the years, the town administrators have been talking on an annual basis about how's it going, what do you need, what are the challenges, what kinds of problems do we need to resolve. Uh, those those um, conversations have been uh, uh, focused on sustainable services for the people of Hadley, whether they're residents, whether they're business customers, or whether they are uh, visitors. The challenges identified early in these discussions include increased number of calls for both towns to the increased complexity of each call, the increased complexity of complying with state regulations and providing ambulance services, and eventually it became apparent to Hadley that we needed to step up our entire public safety functions with significant investments both in terms of operations and capital in police, in fire, and in dispatch, and in ambulance. Select Board formed the Ambulance Study Task Force, which took a long-range approach to improving ambulance services to Hadley. The group took a year to study the issues. They issued a request for proposals. They reviewed the candidates who responded to those requests for proposals. They consulted with the town of Amherst and ultimately recommended that the town hire Action EMS as the primary ambulance provider for the town of Hadley. Once the decision was made to hire Action EMS, we had to go through all of the transition issues. Those are regulatory matters, community outreach, coordination with our mutual aid partners, emergency communications, and the service delivery plan. On June 29th, 2018, the transition occurred, the system was tested, and all ambulance services became effectively the town of Hadley's. I have here the Chief of Fire, Mr. Michael Spanknabel, who can talk about the details of the operations for the first eight weeks. Good afternoon. Uh, as David Nixon stated, I'm Chief Michael Spanknabel of the Hadley Fire Department, also your Emergency Management Director. And uh, I have been working very closely for since 2005 on putting together uh, a plan, a transition plan, and a phased in approach to both fire services and emergency medical services for the town of Hadley. Uh, as David said, we have uh, we had a very good task force put together that evaluated everything across the board, making recommendation, recommendations to the select board for best practices and how the town should consider moving forward. Uh, as the fire chief, I would like to say thank you to all the town's folks for supporting this process. And uh, as far as operationally, we now have an ambulance that is parked in our center station 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. That ambulance service is at the paramedic level and uh, it has been, it has melded in perfectly since it started on, on June 29th uh, of this year. So operationally, the way it works now on the same day uh, that we, at 9.05 when we went live after all the the dispatch buttons and everything with the state was finalized. Uh, we also brought on board our additional fire department staffing. We added two full-time firefighters during the day. So we now have on any given day between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. two full-time firefighters, one lieutenant and one firefighter, and then myself 
uh, as the fire chief and a deputy chief of operations uh, who also oversees the, the EMS side of, of the house. And I can tell you that the, the number of calls that we've been responding to has been significant. So that has been one thing that we have you know, brought forward to the select board for a number of years that as a call force department in the, in the past, and then uh, just myself starting in 2005 as the first full-time firefighter. We then uh, made the transition into having a full-time fire chief, and I was lucky enough to move into that position, which I, uh, I really, really appreciate uh, all the support on that. Uh, it's been a lot of hard work to that to that uh, to that point, and then also as that as that transition happened, we needed somebody to take my position as the fire prevention officer, and at that point we hired our full time lieutenant Nick McKenna. That was in 2014, so he took on the role of doing inspections, and also him and I were the the primary responders during the day uh, for fire incidences. Uh, so again, now we are up to uh, the four. Uh, four full-time firefighters plus myself and a deputy. So that's been great. As far as the ambulance side, uh, again, we have a, a full-time paramedic level ambulance parked in our station, but we also have a non-dedicated backup ambulance, which is located at the, the bridge on Russell Street. Uh, that's a basic ambulance service that travels between Holyoke and Hadley. So if the primary ambulance is out on a call, that ambulance service is normally in town between the hours of 7 a.m. and 11 p.m. Uh, if it is on task uh, and not available and our primary ambulance service goes out the door, we have mutual aid agreements set up with the city of Northampton, uh, South County Ambulance Service to our north, and the Amherst Fire Department to our east. So all those response cards are put into place and all of that information has been trained on with our dispatchers. So. If, for instance, our primary medic one is out on a call and a second call for service comes in, if the secondary ambulance is not available, uh, the town has been broken up into sections and those partners that we have through mutual aid are contacted immediately so those ambulances are, as, are arriving at your house in the event of an emergency. Basically, it's the exact same setup as when we were, uh, when we were with Amherst and uh, basically the same mutual aid partners that they were using as well. Uh, to date, I can tell you the first, uh, the first month, the month of July, we had our ambulance responded to 143 calls. We had 78 transports and I can tell you to date, the fire department who responds to all those medical calls as well, we are up to 220 calls for service since uh, the June 29th uh, start date. Uh, hello, good afternoon. My name is Michael Waronker. I'm the Chief Executive Officer and also co-owner for Action Ambulance Service and uh, point of contact for the Town of Hadley and the EMS system that we've instituted here within the town. I wanted to talk a little bit this afternoon about how calls are processed. Um, the system from a 911 perspective has not changed at all. Uh, currently, if you were to call 911 and you had a medical emergency within the town, uh, that call would now ring, uh, thanks to new technology, directly into uh, the Hadley Communication Center that's located at the combined police and fire station in town. That call, if it's determined to be a medical call and there needs to be pre-arrival instructions given to the caller on the phone to assist the person that, uh, uh, that needs um, help on the other end of the phone uh, to walk them through uh, directions and instructions in terms of how to handle the problem that's going on from a medical or a trauma standpoint within the home or from a particular scene within the town. While that is happening, uh, simultaneously, the dispatcher within the police station is dispatching police, fire, and the ambulance to that particular location. And what happens is, additionally, information in terms of what's going on in terms of phone conversation and contact is passed along to the first responders as well to give them updates about what's going on uh, relative to the patient within the home or uh, at the particular scene. Uh, the nice thing about the system here in Hadley is that the uh, dispatcher within Hadley is doing all the dispatching for the primary and secondary ambulance within the town. So what we've been able to do is to significantly reduce response times and enhance communication amongst all the parties and it's reduced call processing time as well. So the amount of time for the truck to actually get en route to the scene has dropped dramatically and we've also seen the response times for the ambulance within the town uh, fall dramatically as well. 
Uh, the other part that's really interesting is that both the fire, the police in some instances, and the ambulance are now all responding together from one potential central location, which has helped to contribute to reduce those response times within the system as well. We do have a large quality assurance component uh, where runs are reviewed. There is uh, constant follow-up feedback done with the hospital at Cooley Dickinson in terms of the quality of care that's being provided to residents. Uh, we do have physicians that oversee that program and that feedback is then provided to the providers and also to the first responders on particular cases. If there are police issues related to some of these calls, then we work closely with the police department to provide the appropriate documentation that they need to do investigative follow-up as well. So it's turned into a very uh, supportive and um, very supportive collaborative, which has uh, really shown some significant benefits for the town already to this uh, point where we're just about eight weeks out in terms of total operating time uh, within the town. Uh, we suspect and we're pretty confident that this uh, collaboration is going to continue and we're going to be able to uh, do other interesting and innovative programs within the town that includes following up with patients at home uh, via phone call or home visits those types of uh, follow-up items uh, will be something that we'll probably look at doing and bringing to the town to engage the community a little bit more and to be able to look at the overall health condition of those patients and to try to work on keeping them out of the hospital and keep them within the home environment and stay within the community. So an initial positive uh, item that I wanted to discuss was the relationship between uh, Actions Ambulance and the town of Hadley. Action made it very clear and what was really comforting at our last meeting was they wanted to make sure that myself as the fire chief and the firefighters at the station were comfortable with the fact that that ambulance that's parked in our station is our ambulance. So they are 100% behind uh, having that ambulance out doing community service. So parking at a uh, soccer game at Hopkins Academy, at going out and doing outreach with the seniors at the senior center, visiting Winfield Senior and family housing to make sure that they all know how the ambulance service works. So again, I just wanted to make sure that everybody understood that portion, that that ambulance is considered the town of Hadley's fire ambulance and it's been very, very successful thus far for the first month. <laughs>